guys welcome to my channel today we are standing in front of the my Hyundai Unic 5 so if you own the car like this and you want to know like is there any faults with your car or is there any ongoing issues you can have a diagnostic tool plug in most of the people use the, the small dongle and the cheap thing but I actually got something better so I'm just gonna show you quickly now We have a Launch X431 uh, CRP919 version. And now we're gonna go back in the car and see what this can do with my Ionic 5. Alright, guys, we have the diagnostics tool here, and we have the this uh, VCI that comes with diagnostics. I'll plug this now down in the car. It works. Uh, Wirelessly, this one, Bluetooth. You can see now here that uh, we connected it. Now lights are flashing. This is the diagnostic tool. Lounge X431, as I said, uh, CRP919XBT version, so Bluetooth version. It uh, it costs less than 500 euro, and I was I was reviewing all diagnostics tool in uh, on Google, and I find out that this tool has capabilities like Autel that cost around 900 to 1000 euro. This tool can as well code if something breaks down. It can, it can code the car, so not ICCU, but it has some coding capabilities, uh, radar calibrations and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna actually switch to and show you what this can do. All right, guys. So this is the diagnostic tool interface. Uh, we are in the car, so now we will just need to do this. It's very very straightforward intelligent that diagnosis now it's gonna read the wind and enter the car so 2020 second real wheel drive ionic 5 clicking diagnostics here Automatic. Now you can see here there are a uh, few things offered in the beginning. If you go to special functions, you will see here what can be done in special functions. It's offered. I'm gonna go to show you now this thing can check. Is the battery charged at home or is the battery charged in fast chargers? So let's, or let's actually, yeah, let's actually do that first because that's interesting. We go to EV battery system. I didn't expect that this can do this, but it's very, very useful. Uh, we click read data stream, which means uh, view live data. Accumulated standard charging energy, energy accumulated quick charging energy. So if I select that and go in, you'll see here that I was only mostly AC charging. You can see here at 3698 kilowatt hours standard charging energy and quick charging energy 202 kilowatts. So I don't know how accurate is this, but it could be pretty accurate. So because I only charge at home. So now I don't know, I don't know is the number actually correct, but there is actually here 
so many things you can check all battery cell voltages and stuff like that now let's go oh yeah battery state of health let's let's do that I think it's it's not called health it's called s I think it's SOH yeah SOH 96.3 percent state of health and at the moment we have in the car 28,844 kilometers so not too bad for that mileage So you can see here you can enter any module if you go in let's go for example go in this one oh yeah body control module and then you have all of these these now offered let's go in this let's see what can we do here Health report. We're gonna scan the car. We will get a uh, few faults that are connected with uh, ABS. I didn't delete them because the car is scheduled to go to dealer for warranty repair. See here, there's many of these faults that are connected to the ABS. With ABS, it's the wheel speed sensor, which I already checked before. And you can, for example, go in the ABS to diagnose, for example, if your wheel speed sensor is faulty. I'm going to type here wheel front select all three uh, all four and then you can see now we're gonna move the car and you will see the data here changing so you can see the numbers now changing as we are moving we stop we stop and you can see now again it's zero I specifically have a problem with this one sometimes rear left it shows the wrong value now let's go to other module and 
Integrated body control unit T PMS. Let's go into this. Special function. See here what do we have. Anyway guys, I'm not gonna be going too much in the details with this video. I'm gonna make another video for that. I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna clean these errors, so I don't want them to be deleted. Wait, let's see. Front radar. Let's see what we can do there. Special function, correction of the front radar mounting angle. So this is when you change. When you change, when you replace front radar, you can code it or adapt it to the car. So it's very good. Seeing some live data. Select all, OK. Now you can see here. some live data for that let's go now what's this module information uh, ECU supplier code RFP4 okay I think this is when you code I don't see option for coding here let's find some let's find some uh, module that you can actually code. Special function. Coding. So you can see here. That this can do actually coding. First I would probably back up. And then you click here probably CLU, CLU variant coding. I don't want to do that. I don't want to mess up the car. Just looking capabilities of this scanner. So this scanner is very, very capable for less than 500 euro or 500 dollars. So very, very good. Anyway. I would conclude video with this. I'm not gonna go much in details. I just want to show this scanner. I think this unit is amazing for the money. And it also works offline. I try to scan the car offline. So when this uh, subscription expires, it's still gonna work most of the functions. Let me show you one more thing. Let's go, let's exit from all of this. This thing can scan Tesla cars. So you can go here in the mall, software store, EV, American, and you can buy Tesla software. Tesla software, no, I don't know what happened now. It crashed a little bit. Let's go back. $278. This is what it can do. Read codes, clear codes, reset issue, read, write, win numbers. Many stuff. For $278. Let's see which vehicles are covered. Vehicle coverage. No. Mode Trying to click here. Uh, we have some problems with the with the fonts or what. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it doesn't want to show there. Let's go A race. Let's go quick try to click here. 
you have some problem with some with the show with the list anyway I'm gonna conclude this video I'm not gonna go much in details very good diagnostics tool thanks for watching for more content like this subscribe to the channel